Hello everyone and welcome to Learn with Jikyasa. Today in this video, we are going to learn one multiplication method where you need not to remember any multiplication table and you can do multiplication up to two digit or three digit simply by drawing some lines in a definite pattern. Okay, this method is easy. This method is helpful for those kids who are struggling with the memorization of multiplication table and uh, they can easily perform multiplication up to two and three digit uh, numbers in no time. So let's start this method. So I have written two numbers here, like two multiplications here. And we are going to solve these using Japanese technique. Okay, before starting with the Japanese techniques, I'm going to tell you some basic terms. This is vertical line, correct? This is horizontal line, okay? And one more line is there that is slant line. This is called diagonal line. Okay. So we are going to use this diagonal line. Okay. So what we will do here for uh, doing this multiplication, the number which is written on the left hand side of uh, multiplication sign should be dra drawn diagonally. Okay. So this is one. So we will draw one diagonal line. And this is 6. Okay. So we will draw 6 diagonal lines after leaving a di uh, distance from the first line. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. Okay. So we have drawn this 16. 1 and 6. Now, the number which is on the right hand side of multiplication sign should be drawn perpendicular to these lines. Okay, so this is 1, so I will draw 1 line and this is 5. So I will draw 5 lines after leaving a um, small gap. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So our answer is already here. So let me tell you how we get our answer. So we will count these intersection points. One is this one and this one together and this one. Okay. So let's count these uh, intersection points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. So for 30, we will write 0 here and 3 will be taken as carry. Okay. Now, let's um, count these intersection points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 and this 3 will be added to it. So what will be the answer? 14. So for 14, we will write 4 here. And one, one will be taken as carry. Okay. So what is the number of intersection points here? One. So one is the carry. So what is the answer? Two. So answer for 16 into 15 is 2, 4, 0. 2, 40. So this is the answer. Right. So I hope you understand how we did it. Now I'm going to tell you how we take intersection points. Okay. I'm going to take some random lines and will let you know. See, uh, let I have taken this line, this, okay, and this, okay, and the lines for the other number that is on the right hand side of the multiplication sign will be taken perpendicular to this, okay. So, how we will uh, count intersection points? For counting intersection points, we consider this intersection, okay, this intersection, and this intersection for two digits okay now let's take another question 43 into 24 okay so for this let's draw lines 43 43 on the 43 is on the left hand side of multiplication sign so we will draw it diagonally okay 4 and 3 so 1 2 3 and 4. Right? And 3. Leaving some gap, we will draw 3 lines. 1, 2, 3. Correct? 
Now, 24 on the right hand side of multiplication symbol. So, we will draw perpendicular lines for this number. So, this is 1 and 2. This is 4. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, our answer is already here. So, let's count these intersection points and we will get the answer. So, first is 1, 2, 3. Let's mark it. Uh, this way and this way. Okay. So, let's count intersection points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For 12, we will write 2 here and 1 will be carry. Okay. Now, count these intersection points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And 1 is carry. So, 23. For 23, we will write 3 here and 2 will be carry. Okay. Let's count these intersection points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 2 is carry. 9 and 10. For 10, we will write 10 here because there are no other no more inter because there are no more intersection point so we will write 10 complete so what is the answer for this this will be our answer 1 0 3 2 isn't it the easy method of doing multiplication you need not to remember any multiplication table however I always suggest you to remember multiplication table at least up to 9. So that will make your uh, mathematic calculations very easy. Okay. Now I am going to take some examples of 3 digit numbers. So I have taken these two uh, 3 digit numbers and we are going to perform multiplication for this by Japanese method. Okay. In this case also we are going to draw diagonal lines for the number which are on the left hand side of multiplication sign and uh, perpendicular lines for those numbers which are on the um, right hand side of multiplication sign okay so let's take our first question this is 1 2 3 into 2 3 4 okay let's start drawing uh, lines for this uh, question so this is 1 so we will simply draw 1 now this is 2 so we will uh, Leaving some gap, we will draw two lines together. Okay. Now, three. So, again, leaving some gap, we will draw three lines together. One, two, and three. Now, let's take this number. For this number, which is on the right-hand side of multiplication sign, we will take perpendicular lines. Okay. So, let's take these lines. 1 and 2. Next one is 3. Leaving some gap, draw 3 lines together. 1, 2 and 3. Now again leaving some gap, draw 4 lines. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I am extending these lines so that it will be easy to count intersection points. Okay. Now see carefully how we are going to take intersection points here. So, our first intersection will be this, correct? Our next intersection will be this one, this one, okay? From the midpoint of this line and midpoint of this line, okay? Our third intersection will be this, okay? Our fourth intersection will be this, mid of this line, that is these points and mid of this line. That is these points. So, this one. And our fifth intersection will be this one. Okay. So, there will be total five intersection uh, intersections. And we have to point the, uh, we have to count the points on these intersections. Okay. Let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. For 12, we will write 2 and carry will be 1. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1 is carry, 18. For 18, we will write 8 here 
and one will be the carry for this. Okay. Now again count count intersections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1 is carry, 17. For 17, we will write 7 and carry is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 8. So we will write 8 here. There is no carry. 1 and 2. So we will write 2 here. So what is our answer for this? Our answer is 2, 8, 7, 8, 2, 8, 7, 8, 2. This is our answer. Okay. Isn't it easy? You need not to remember any uh, multiplication table here. Okay. Let's take second number. Okay. 1, 4, 5 into 2, 1, 1. Let's draw uh, lines for these numbers. Diagonal for the number on the left hand side of multiplication symbol. So this is 1, 4 and 5. So 1, then 4, leaving a small gap, we will draw 4 lines. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now leaving some gap, we will draw 5 lines. So this is 1, 2, Three, four, and five. Now we are drawing lines for this number, which is on the right hand side of multiplication sign. So these lines will go per perpendicular to these diagonal lines. So two, so this is one and two. Now one, this is one. Now this is again one. So this is again one. Let's group these intersection points. So first group is this. Second group is this one. Third group is this one. Fourth. Fifth. So we got the groups of intersection points. Now we are going to count them. We are going to start from here. One, two, three, four and five. So what we will write? We will write five here. There is no carry again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we will write 9 here. Okay. Again there is no carry. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. For 15 write 5 here. 1 will be taken as carry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. For 10 we will write 0 here. 1 will be taken as carry. Here, there are two intersection points, 1 and 2. Add 1 to it. Answer is 3. So, our uh, complete answer will be 3, 0, 5, 9, 5. What is our answer? 3, 0, 5, 9, 5. So, I hope you understand till here. Now, I am going to tell you how we uh, group these intersection points. Since these are bigger numbers and there are many intersection points, so it becomes a little bit tricky that how you will group these intersection points. So I am going to tell you that separately so that you can uh, clearly understand how you how we will group the intersection points. So I am taking some random lines uh, like 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1. So these lines are for the number which is on the left hand side of the multiplication sign and now perpendicular lines for the number which are on the right hand side of the multiplication sign. So like this I have drawn some lines here. So let's take uh, the way how you will group these intersection points. The first group will be this one. Okay. Second group will be this one. The middle of this line and the middle of this line. The middle of this line. And this line. Now third group will be this one. Fourth group will be this one. And fifth group will be this one. This is the way you will group the numbers, group the intersection points and get your answer. I hope you understand this method of multiplication. And I will be coming up with uh, many more such uh, easy tricks and uh, 
tips to do mathematical problems in short and easy way. So please stay tuned for the next videos and please like, share and subscribe this video so that others can also learn from this video. Thank you very much.